welcome everyone. So in today's episode we're going to go through on good old Tidbit Tuesday and I'm going to redo and revamp an old, older uh, little wheelbarrow I found for free actually. I've got a wheelbarrow, it works pretty good. It's an old steel one. It does a trick and whatnot, but I've found more times than not me and the missus will be going through doing yard work and kind of moving around and we'll have a need for a second wheelbarrow or in some projects cases I'll, I'll need a mobile pile of dirt that's nice and refined but then I'm having to move lumber or something else around in the yard imagine that me and having lumber in my yard that I need to move around whether it's uh, logs for the fireplace or if it's just a whole bunch of pallet wood that I've just so happened to process for a uh, soon-to-be project or whatnot, and I need to be able to move more than just an armful at a time without just destroying my arms and wearing me out, and I don't want to disturb the project I'm doing or she's doing, I'll need another wheelbarrow. So in today's video we're going to go through, and it'll be kind of a, a restoration for good old Tidbit Tuesday. So hopefully you enjoy, and let's get to it. pun intended. So you can tell from this one it's uh, seen better days for sure. The funny thing looking at it though is I noticed a sticker on here. I don't know if it'll focus for you to be able to see it here. It says Hallmaster in there which is the uh, Harbor Freight brand. So looking at this I would suspect that this is the 10 inch usually on sale for around $3.99, $5.99 tire that you can get. And uh, it's it's seen better days so they had some issues here it looks like with the rod consistently rotating moving back and forth so that's some bailing twine technique good old duct tape and uh, you can tell that that didn't quite it did the trick i'm guessing until this just rotted out probably sun bleached and left in a mud puddle and whatnot for quite some time i'm guessing you know speculation Although, like I said, this tire has definitely seen better times and better years of life. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I need this rod of steel here. Ah, here it goes. Don't need the tire. So I'm upgrading that tire to another Harbor Freight tire. Let's see if it will focus in on here for you. So, upgraded it a bit. Not for highway use. I mean, good lord, if you could put this on anything, I mean a go-kart I guess, but still, I wouldn't trust a two-ply tire to go too far on the highway. Anyway, this is their 13-inch tube, or tubeless tire. And when you look at that, I think that'll work. So, that aside, what we have is some uh, plastic spacers. For a wheelbarrow that handles lots of weight and this flexes under my fingers here so we're going to obviously not reuse these we're going to make our own wooden wedges which will work a heck of a lot better we will however kind of replicate their longer handles that go through this wood is heavy duty it still has some weight to it but it's just so cracked and wore out through all of itself that I wouldn't really want to refinish and reuse for this project, but maybe something else down the road I can come up with these. Otherwise they are probably going to burn for quite some time. Still have to try to get this little bracket off. It did not want to come off, so I'm going to let some penetrating lubricant sit on this side, but I'm going to take this plate off because it makes a nice little bumper for the front. And we're going to go through and customize, fab fabricate some uh, little chunks here for that. Got the brackets as well. We're going to clean these up, repaint these, 
clean this up, repaint it once I can hopefully get it off of here. And we're going to go through and do some fabrication. I think I'm going to use a combination of some stringers from some pallets and some little tidbits and should be fun little fabrication. I'm also going to go through, sand up and clean the bottom supports and uh, get a counterbalance for the tripod effect for the good old wheelbarrow. So time to get to dusting off some old paint with a nice little mask on and get to fabricating some new arms for this. Tidbit Tuesday that was a little bit more extravagant than what I would normally intend for tidbits, but I was able to get the stringer bits to go to only a certain length, then I had to, as you saw, do a kind of a splice cut. You didn't see the cut exactly, it was a little unsafe to actually record that bit. That was the one thing that I did kind of leave out, was just kind of how I did that cut. It was a little unsafe, so I would just say that it's a, a nice cut, ended up working out pretty good. It's a little off, so I had to go through and sand it nice and smooth. Other than that, it's in a blonde state, and of course this hasn't been actually cleaned or done anything with. I will do a update video on this once I go through and properly clean everything up, 
disassemble it and I'm going to actually put a nice stain on this one. I'm still deciding on that bit as well as I believe this will end up maybe being a red. We'll see. I have a couple different paints that I want to look at using on this but I definitely want to clean it up and do almost a full restoration but I will definitely be using this so I don't want to make it like showroom quality. I kind of want to leave it a little bit dirty if that makes sense just so that way I don't end up feeling like I make it too perfect and too nice and then I don't want to ever use it again. So this is meant to be an $11 purchase essentially. I have put only $11 which is what this tire cost me so with tax I think it was $11.75, $11.81, something like that. So this is, we'll call it the $12 project for Tidbit Tuesday. <laughs> and it was a it was a, a dandy of a tidbit to be done. But like I said, there's still some more to be done. I'm not saying this is finished by any means, but the preliminary is done. Gluing will be nice and set. I'll have a little bit of mild sanding to kind of get up some of the over glue that you might be able to be seeing on that screen. I don't know for sure. Of course, the maker's eye, I can see it right off the bat. It will be cleaned and finished up, but I hope Hopefully you enjoyed this little tidbit and uh, the idea that you can go far and do as much as you want with as many little scraps as you have and uh, with a little bit of ingenuity. Uh, there are some glue joints in here just as you can see here and on these points as you saw in the film as well that will be nice and set up for tomorrow. I'll go through and I'll probably do a midweek or maybe on a Friday I'll have a dual release of what I have this looking like after it's all cleaned up, painted and stained. But thank you guys very much. Hopefully you enjoyed this and if you did make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that way you get notifications every time I make a new and exciting, hopefully for everyone, <laughs> video out there. Maybe just getting you to use your brain a little bit more in the regards to what you have and what you can do with it. And the sky's the limit. Never feel that because it isn't perfectly brand new wood from some big box store that it's just uh, no, anything and everything can always be turned around and made into something better. So, thank you very much. Have yourself a good one.